morning boomers and crypto maniacs worldwide it's the voice of the blockchain satoshi's biggest cousin crypto's finest champagne thanks for tuning in another day another token another day another boom i hope everybody's focused out there like i've been saying i think we're on the precipice of a major opportunity out here boomers let's keep our eyes focused and uh let's not let's not let the fear, uncertainty, and doubt throw us off our position out here, boomers. I'm on the way here to get a little coffee, maybe a little egg sandwich. I finally got my mask out there, boomers, so everything's all good. I, I need to. If, if I'm going to go into uh, places, they mandated it out here, which is wild. Anyhow, I was checking out an article this morning on Market Watch, Goldman Sachs changes their position and now they're saying that the bottom is in the bottom is in and they are making projections for the s p to hit three thousand by the end of the year which is uh awesome awesome we can uh i was just listening to the radio right now to cdc the guy from the CDC, I forgot what his name, I think it was Redford or something, saying that they're expecting now the cases to to start uh, declining, actually. And uh, we will be opening up the economy prudently, is what they were saying. So we're expecting uh, some sort of a plan, a rollout plan. Um, I mentioned about a week or two that there's still a, pro a strong possibility that we may even be locked down into May. That's starting to kind of look different after yesterday's task force conference. Uh, because I think people want to get back to work, you know, you know, I don't think I know people want to get back to work and you know, the, the numbers, the projections were not as severe as they said they were going to be as what I, th I knew it from the beginning. I was like, this is all hype. And you know, every week, every day that passes by, they lower the projection numbers and it's not as severe. So, uh, you know, I guess it's a good thing right now because you know, I, I let, let's not have, we don't want this to be severe. So that's a good thing. Uh, let's get back to work and let's start booming. And how I look at this is I feel like there's a lot of pent up energy. People want to get right back to it. And this may be better. We may we may bounce back better. I'll tell you that much. I, yes, I know the banks are funny bunny. I've heard all the the arguments. But my argument is it's do or die for us out here. What are we going to do? What's the alternative? Don't tell me Bitcoin's the alternative for USD. You know the deal, guys. That's not realistic right now. Maybe in the future, there, there'll be something that's, you know, more sound currency. But right now, there is no alternative to the USD. We're not going to go on a gold-backed standard. Uh, I, I really doubt that. I had questions. People were asking questions about that in the live stream. I really doubt that. Uh, you know, the powers that be, they have un, they have more power now. They're able to issue more debt. So let's see what they could do with this. Are they about to create even a bigger bubble? You know, are they about to inflate this bubble even bigger? Because that's what it seems like. Uh, so, you know, what are you going to do about it? How are you going to position yourself to make some gains out here? Instead of uh, whining and crying and running for an extra mask. Okay, I got mine. The champ got his mask. It's right here. I got my mask over here. So, uh, you know, I'm protected, but uh, I'm still looking for opportunities. And um, so I'm, I got my eyes focused. Let's see what happens. You know, yesterday the stocks didn't do much. They kind of traded sideways. So did Bitcoin. Um, I got my eyes uh, on oil, on oil. I feel like the, the gas and oil industry is something that needs to rebound eventually. And it'll be probably one of the first. Once things open up and people start moving around again, uh, I think the demand is going to go back up. Uh, I got my eyes on companies like Chevron. I like the dividends that they uh, may be paying out. And, of course, we're about to head into earnings for a lot of these major corps. And I know those earnings are probably are not going to look attractive. But, you know, that's when we may find the opportunity to go in and buy in low, you know? So I got my eyes on, uh, you know, the gas and oil and then just like these big blue chips. Another one I've been kind of eyeing out there is the banks, like J JP, Bank of America. Uh, it seems to me like they, they're too big to fail either. They may, they may benefit 
from this as well. You know, not that I like the banks or not, but are they going to move up? Okay. Um, at, at this time, you know, these times, it's it's more it's a, it's about being practical than it is about being ideological all the time. Also, you know, um, I think that people are still stuck on the, the on the Bitcoin idea, and that's it's a good idea. But is it realistic right now? Probably not. So uh, how are we going to make gains in the climate and with the, what we have in front of us? Okay. Uh, I don't know how many times we've mentioned this. Trade what you have in front of you, not what you want or you expect to have two, three months. You know what I mean? You got to have trade what you have in front of you. What we have in front of us is a potential opportunity out there, Boomer. So uh, let's uh, stay focused. I'll, I'll link that article, uh, the Goldman Sachs uh reversing their position saying that uh, the bottom's in and they're projecting uh 3000 for the S&P. So let's see, you know, directly correlated uh with the with the crypto at this moment or, or the other way around, crypto's directly correlated to the legacy market. So listen, that's good for you crypto maniacs out there as well. So, you know, if the S&P it's 3000, sheesh, Bitcoin may go up, you know. So that's a good thing. So let's be patient out there. I'll be uh, doing the live stream today again uh and uh that's what we'll be doing. So uh, stay tuned and uh, I'll catch you guys real soon. It's The Voice Champagne Crypto. Thanks for tuning in.